Hey everybody, welcome to today's harmony tutorial video. I'm here with Susie Wright. Yay! And we're gonna be singing a song for you called Your Love Is Better, which we actually co-wrote together yeah. recently. And so we're gonna use this song to kind of highlight um, a few different things that will help you grow as a background vocalist. The first thing you need to know about this song is there's a key change. It modulates <laughs> up from the key of D to the key of E. The second thing I want to point out is there's just two of us today. So this, we're going to treat this kind of like a, a duet. So what's going to happen is Susie's going to lead the song um, until it modulates up to the new key or right before it modulates. And then I'm going to start leading. So we're going to take turns, in other words, leading the song, singing the melody. Now, when she's leading, when Susie's singing the, the uh, melody, I'm going to sing a harmony part that is, uh, for the most part, we're singing a, a harmony part that's a third above the melody. And this is typically, I think it's one of the easiest yes. harmony parts to hear. It's very natural. Mm -hmm. And um, when you, when you um, if possible, if, if, you, if it's just like two people and you've got to pick a harmony to sing, to me, that's the most like, mm -hmm. it's a standalone harmony. It sounds the best it on does, its own a lot of for times. Sure. Unless it's just too high. Unless it's just then too you, high. But you flip it around. I think it's the sounds the best, it's the easiest. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll, so I'll be singing a third above her. Then when, um, when I'm leading in the new key, you'll hear Susie sing below me some of the time. She'll because be singing the harmony high. below. <laughs> but this is, the beauty of this right. is just seeing the flexibility. When you just mm -hmm. have two people, there's a lot of, yeah. you have a lot of, you have flexibility and then um we're gonna i'll be kind of picking and choosing a few mm -hmm. lines to highlight mm -hmm. like on um for example in verse two when susie's singing verse two i'm gonna wait and come in on just a couple of lines which is something that's important to think about when you're developing kind of the arrangement of the song like when does this song need building. harmony building it exactly we call those spot harmonies spot harmonies we used to call those spot harmonies so just like like if you just choose a phrase mm -hmm. Spot a little, harmonies. Of, a little bit in the verse. You want to keep the mystery. You want to build. Right. Too soon. Not yeah. too soon, too mm -hmm. much. Right. Right. So, so we're going to do some of that. You also, I think Susie's going to do, um, when we get to the bridge of the song, which is just repetitive, um, she's going to be harmonizing with me. I think she's going to do a little bit of low and a little bit of mm -hmm. high harmony. So, and, and so through this tutorial, you're going to get to hear what both harmony parts sound like at different point. So hope you enjoy this. Let's do the song. Ready? Ready. Okay. <laughs>